A crime hotspot could soon get a boost in police patrols. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Joey Parker. We've been following the concerns in Northeast Columbia. A gun is fired in the middle of a police chase on Quail Drive last night and the first shooting homicide of 2016 just a half mile away. ABC 17's Lucas Geiser joins us live at Wynwood Townhomes on Aztec Boulevard. And Lucas Police may soon have a new substation in that area. Joey and Marissa, for just $300 a month, Columbia Police may have a place here at Wynwood Townhouses to work out of as a police substation. I spoke with the person who represents this area of town on the city council about the plan so far. The crime hotspots on the edges of Columbia, like the north and northeast, have made it harder for CPD to respond quickly. Officers have just the downtown headquarters. And while the north side will soon get a new substation, Carl Scala says the east side of town needs it too. I'd be glad to support that because we need to distribute these resources, but I need a presence on the east side. As seen in the last few weeks. Last night, police arrested Vincent Dawson for running away from police on Quail Drive. A month ago, Gabrielle Rhodes died from gunshots a half mile away on Sylvan Lane. The first officer arrived in three minutes to the homicide scene. Vascala hopes a place to stay in Northeast Columbia may help cut that time down. This will provide us an outpost, if you will, uh, to write reports and so on, to have a police presence on the east side so that we have a better response time for anything that occurs on the east side of town. The city's investment to that troubled area doesn't stop with the substation. Two of the community outreach units members work on that end of the city. We told you earlier this week about improvements coming to McKee Street Park. Using our, the limited resources that we have in some of these areas that are underserved, I think the better off everyone is going to be. So you think the investments are moving in the I, right direction? I, I think we're headed in the right direction, and this is tangible evidence that something is, is happening. Pascal emphasized that he did not think that the Wynwood townhouses or the Indian Hills subdivision had a problem with crime. In fact, his first choice for a substation was on St. Charles Road um, to help with some of the problems the city and county shared on Demerit Drive. But he says that the city got an affordable price on a lease here in the Indian Hills neighborhood. Reporting live in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. It'll be up to the city council to vote on it as soon as June 6th. The department's lease would start in July.